Hello there gaming fans, this is LJ from Gaming-Fans.com and we are going to go over some mod slicing here. I've got Grandmaster Yoda, he's got a speed and potency set on him and we are going to take a look at the different levels of slicing of the different colored mods. So for example here we have a blue speed mod, it's tier C because it's blue. We're going to slice it to get up to tier B. So you can see it takes 10 and 25 of the 10 of the Mach 1 fusion discs, 25 of the power flow control chips. Using that will, all right, we got a plus five speed. So it looks like the speed was the only thing that we get from that. Now we can then slice it from a tier B purple to a tier A gold. We've got the Game Changers account here for things like this. So that's exactly why we uh, have these accounts. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Takes 15 of the control chips and 35 fusion coils plus 90,000 credits. Let's see how that one comes out. And there we got 624 additional protection. So now this is a tier A mod. If you look at Yoda, he's got gold across the board on the speed, except for this blue one down here, which going to now slice this tier C to a tier B. Same thing as before. We got 447 extra protection. Let's go ahead and take it from B to A. We got another 713 protection. So it's a really nice mod when it comes to you got a ton, 1621 protection now. So now we're going to take the gold mods, the tier A's, and move them to, to, um, to six dot mods by slicing them. Now these materials are going to be hard to get. Um, the details are still being worked out. This is uh, beta footage subject to change, so I'm not going to go and promise anything on locations or anything else. Mach 1 amplifier, you need 50. You need 50 capacitors. And then the pulse modulator, you need 20 of those, plus 200,000. So we're going to go from 5, tier A5, to tier E6 dot, which <laughs> that leaves a lot of room open to get to tier to seven dot all right here we go let's see what happens now we got one speed 12 offense and a couple other stats that i am no longer seeing not bad all right let's go to this next one let's slice this guy all right so let's see how this goes from a to a tier e6 dot one speed five defense very very small crit chance and then some protection but the defense is up to 20 percent now so on the protection, let's slice this. I think it's going to go up to like 24% protection from 23 and a half to 24. And that is right. We got one speed, 12 offense, 1.17 defense, and very minimal on the critical chance. So some of these numbers aren't phenomenal. Um, finally, the health from this now tier A plus mod or cross mod, depending on what you want to call it. Let's slice this one. One speed, 175 protection, four defense. The health went up from 5.88 to 16%. That's where the big bonus was, is this health number. So there you have it. That's just a few examples. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and slice this guy just so we can see the critical damage. This isn't even that great of a mod. Didn't have any speed. Um, you know, farming mods is hard enough on my personal account, let alone the Game Changers account as well. So, you know, some of these guys don't have the greatest. We're going to move that one to a tier C. Now we're going to go up to a B, up to an A, and finally to a tier E, six dot. There you go. So it's up to 42% on the crit damage. That's nice. Uh, there are going to be mods that are going to be worth slicing. There are going to be mods that are not going to be worth slicing. We're working on all that content to try and help you guys out uh, so you can save your resources and use them the most efficient possible way. This has been LJ from Gaming-Fans.com. Uh, keep checking us out for more on mod slicing and the changes here from Mods 2.0.